In this video, we're going to share a global variable across multiple files by using the extern keyword in C. So the situation is we have this main.c file with our main function in it. We want to be able to create a library that's going to have and use a global variable. But we also want main.c to have access to that global variable as well. So first we'll create the library. We'll make a file called library.h and we'll make a file called library.c. And in library.c, we're going to define the global variable. So we'll say int number is equal to zero. We'll also make a few functions to work with this global variable. So we'll say void add one, and this function will add one to the global variable. We'll make a function print, and print is just going to print the global variable. So we'll say printf number percent d slash n, and we'll just output the global variable. Now, because we're using printf in our library.c file, we're going to have to include stdio.h because that's where printf is defined. So in this statement here, we're defining the global variable number. In library.h, we're going to actually declare the global variable number. We're going to say extern int number. And that's the terminology we use is here we're defining the variable and here in library.h we're declaring the variable. So what's the difference? In this case here where we're defining the global variable, we're actually going to allocate space for the global variable. Whereas here in library.h where the global variable is only being declared because of the extern keyword, space is not being allocated for this number variable. We're basically saying we want to use this number variable. We're declaring it, but we're not actually getting this space for it. That's going to happen here where we define it. And that's the distinction. So now as we usually would, we'll put function declarations in the library.h file as well. So we'll say void add one and void print. So then in main.c, when we include library.h, this declaration is going to be included as well. So main.c is going to know about add one and print, but it's also going to know that there's a global variable number that it can access. So here in main, we could then start to use these functions and also access the global variable. So we can say print to print out the number. And if we run the program like this, we'll compile it first. We'll say main.c library.c to compile it. If we run it like this, we'll just get number zero because the number was initially set to zero. If we said add one, add one, and then print it again. So if we recompile it and then run it again, we'll get number zero, number two. So these functions here are working as expected. And it's clear that our library file anyways has access to number. Now, what about main.c? It does as well now. So we can say number plus equals 10, and then we'll try printing the number. If we save and compile this, we'll get number 12 here. So this main.c file also has access to that global variable number. And that's because it includes library.h. And in library.h, we have extern int number, which declares that global variable and allows main.c to access it. But it does not define the global variable. That happens in library.c right here. So that's how we can use the extern keyword in C to share a global variable across multiple files. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.